you for giving me opportunity here to present to you regarding quality and also in relation to lean manufacturing. I would like to thank the opportunity to be here to present you regarding this particular topic. I won't take much of your time. I'll be very fast. Cost of quality. What is cost of quality? Cost of quality is defined as a methodology that allows an organization to determine the extent to which its resources are used for activities that prevent poor quality, that appraise the quality of the organization product and services, and that the result from the internal and external failure. Today, quality speaks. You don't have anything in quality, you are not that. Having such information allows an organization to determine potential saving to be gained by implementing process improvement in manufacturing again. Before I go through this video, I would like you, you guys to stay till the end because towards the end, I will be sharing a new development that revolutionized the cost of quality in years to come. So stay tuned. Okay, how to measure cost of quality? The method for calculating cost of quality varies from company to another company. In many cases, determining the cost of quality by calculating total warranty dollars as a percentage of sales. Unfortunately, this method is only looking externally at the cost of quality, not looking internally. The bulk of the costs might remain internal. In order to gain a better understanding, a more comprehensive look at all quality costs are required. The cost of quality can be divided into four categories. They include prevention, appraisal, internal failure, and external failure. Sometimes they call it field failure. Within each of the four categories, there's a numerous possible costs related to either poor quality or good quality. Cost of good quality, C-O-G-Q. Prevention cost. Costs incurred from activities intended to keep failures to a minimum. This can include the following: eh? establishing product specification, you know the schematic drawing and so forth. That's the one. Quality planning, new product development and testing, development of a quality management system (QMS), proper employee training. Whereas appraisal costs, costs incurred to maintain acceptable product quality level. Appraisal costs can include the following incoming material inspection, process controls, check pictures, and supplier assessment. Cost of poor quality, COPQ. Internal failures, cost associated with defect found before the product or services reaches the customer. Internal failure may include excessive scrap, product rework, waste due to poorly designed processes, machine breakdown due to improper maintenance, cost associated with failure analysis, whereas external failures cost associated with defect found after customer received the product or services. External failures may include the following example. This is very damaging. Service and repair causes, warranty claim, customer complaints, product or material return, incorrect sales orders, incomplete bomb, bill of materials, shipping damage due to inadequate packaging, and so forth. Maybe a civil suit. These four categories can now be applied to the original cost of quality equation by applying the category within both the cost of good quality and cost of poor quality. Cost of good quality is sum of prevention cost and appraisal cost. Cost of poor quality is a sum of internal and external failure. So one important factor to note is cost of quality equation is not linear. Investing in the cost of good quality does not necessarily mean that overall cost of quality will increase. In fact, when the resources are invested in right areas, the cost of quality should decrease. That means the number of money we spend to the in order to maintain the quality should decrease. When failure are prevented, 
or detected prior to leaving the facility and reaching the customer, cost of poor quality will be reduced. Let us look at uh, quality and organizational objective. The cost of doing a quality job, conducting quality improvement and achieving goals must be carefully managed so the long term effect of quality on the organization is a desirable one. This cost must be a true measure of quality effort and they are the best determined from an analysis of the cost of quality. Such an analysis provided a method of assessing of the effectiveness of management of quality and a means of determining the problem areas, opportunity, saving and action priorities. Many organizations will have a true quality related cost as high as 12 to 20% of sales revenue and some goes to as high as 40% of total operation. A general room of thumb cost of, we would say the cost of quality is a measure of absence of lean. Lean is related to every cost of quality, prevention, appraisal, internal and external failure. As an improvement program, lean involves prevention costs during training and Kaizen event. When this occurs, there's one an opportunity cost linked to Kaizen event. For example, if the Kaizen event is to implement a TPM, a certain machine has to be stopped in order to work on it. If the machine is idle for an hour, one of the opportunity costs for the cost of one hour, the amount of pieces that can be processed by the machine is an opportunity cost lost. But what about machine stock for Jidoka, whereby defect is stopped from producing? There's no more defect after that since we stopped the machine. For example, one of the metrics for lean is OEE, overall equipment effectiveness. That is based on three elements, availability, performance, and quality. Every waste that would be detected with lean, like material scrap, excess inspection, rework, downtime, yield loss, training, reporting, inventory, corrective action, maintenance, overtime, waste of human resources, loss of productivity, and in particular, productivity is closely related to lean since it depends on the output to the input. The input of this indicator comes from the efficiency during the process. This is where lean equals to do more with less. The goal of every effort through lean improvement is to decrease the current cost of quality in its different potential categories, that four potential categories. If it is not possible to reduce in every category, a trade-off like every improvement program would be best to invest in prevention costs in order to offset appraisal, failure and opportunity costs. Furthermore, the concept of productivity should be included due to its close relationship with quality and lean as was explained, lean impact the amount of resources allocated. Finally, these resources affect the efficiency index, and this index involved in the calculation of productivity index. As promised earlier, here's the new development of cost of quality as seen through the eyes of Industrial Revolution 4.0 practitioners. New development needed to ensure quality are better assured. IR 4.0 under big data using predictive analytics can be some use. By using certain model of certain occurrence that can be predictive and action can be taken way before it happens. So this is how the predictive analytics works by combing through the big data. Look like advances like statistical process control just got better thank you thank you for listening through my video and i would like very much appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel like or put some comment thank you thank you very much